because it was a lot of it was definitely a lot of viral moments this week. But I, I don't for me personally, there wasn't one bigger than uh, watching my uncle Deion Sanders just do just be the goat of all goats and go, hey, I know how to stop this. I know how to combat all the fuck shit. I know I know the perfect remedy for all it is for my young athletes. Roll out the carpet. Roll out the carpet. Just bring this bring the this bring her on in here, man. Just, just, just come on in so y'all can get the game straight from the I said this if this ain't the coldest pimp shit in life, nigga. I've never been prouder of of it was a, it was a real proud moment. Got to. Cause because niggas can whisper all they want, Brittany Renner this, Brittany Renner that. Real niggas is like, hey, that's that's just part of it, fam. And if you if you if you get caught, you get caught up. That's that's on that's on you. But that is definitely part of how this goes. Whether you want to admit it, what what's the uh damn, what's the song called? Whatever the song was, niggas was trying to have banned for the for the misogynistic lyrics. It was like when I threw my hands up and was like, Oh, I don't want gangster rap to ever go anywhere. Like I'm I want bitches and hoes to be in raps forever, nigga, because bitches and hoes really exist. I don't give a fuck what nobody said. Suck ass niggas, bitch. Nah, it's just me. That's why you can't you can't leave me to my own vices because this shit would still it would still sound. Uncle Luke would be Uncle Luke and them niggas would be the hottest niggas fucking with me right now. I don't not sure for every Britney Renner that exists, fam. And so for Unc to go, yeah, this this ain't this is never stopping. So let me just call Shorty in here so she can give y'all the playbook. And if if you get caught after rapping with her, fam. That's all. Hey, I did my job as your big dog. Yeah, I did it all for you. Bro. <laughs> you know, I led you. I led you, and you decided to go your own way. You anyway. decided to do it yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I think that was a hell of a move, and it's a wait, G. Move. My bad. I didn't explain what happened. My bad. Can you can you explain to the folks what happened? I just I just went on a tangent. My bad. All right. So Deion Sanders is the head bat, head uh, football coach for uh, Jackson State. <laughs> Um, and he had a special guest come in uh, to talk to the team. A special uh, guest is crazy. You know, a special guest to coming go. Coming to the stage. You know, coming to the stage right now. You know, you'll get like a motivational speaker. You'll get like, you know, you'll get like an uh, ex-player. Uh, you know, something like that. Something that folks folks, folks uh, look up to. But you forget that it's a different day and age. Like, we all are... Uh, well, everybody's enamored with uh, with online and with the, um, with like social media and all that stuff and um, uh, DMs and all that. So why not bring somebody in that is in that world that you have a chance of getting a lesson learned from? You know what I'm saying? Like that's something that you miss out on, you know? So right. j- just the intelligence to utilize that, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, folks can look at it as like a funny moment and like, come on, bro. Like that, that you know, this is unreal. But like real, real talk, when you talk to these kids that are between the ages of 17 and 21 years old, mm-hmm. they are living a lifestyle now where they are, um, uh, they get caught up in a they they get caught up in picture fantasy world, you know, right. and not realizing that is real life shit going on out there, and you can play around and um, with the status that you could have. So what she was breaking down, which is which is gospel, is that you gonna have to, if you have if you have actually had opportunity to end up being in a position that you think you should be in, then you'll end up having the pick of the litter on uh options and you need to know that given the choices that you make there's an opportunity for underlining the uh situations to take place and these are things that you might want to uh put into context first and don't try to play the victim card afterwards so understand that when you're out here looking for these folks and you you dm somebody that you just looked at 200 pictures pictures of them you know what I'm saying? And you actually get like you actually get them online and y'all you actually have a sit down and one thing leads to another. Understand that you were a party that was that was involved in that. It ain't no it was no like somebody took advantage of me. Nah, you you had a incentive in mind 
And you got to understand you're dealing with a whole nother individual and they have incentives as well. It's just that now folks are open and honest about what it is they doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that that's, that's really what it was. So I, I used a lot of, I, I did a lot of covering up on there. Y'all can, y'all can go look into it, but uh, for the most part, you know, y- y'all get what I'm saying. So shout out to the shout out to the goats for keeping shout out to the <laughs> shout out to the goats for keeping it a bean, you know what I'm saying? Folks, folks might not look at Brittany Renner as a goat, but I definitely do. Right. Keep it, keep it, keeping it churl. All right, B, go because you 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 hot you fighting. You no, fighting. I, I, got I got I got I got I don't got too much on that. You know, I just. Uh, <laughs> I'm upset that she has my name. Uh, <laughs> all these bees <laughs> out here, though. Um, I mean, to be honest, like, that is a way to look at it. <laughs> is people just being honest about what's going on. Um, and I do think there is there is validity to, like, hey, young men, like, know what the fuck is going on. And if you choose to engage, you choose to engage, but it is what the fuck it is. I just... Um, you know, I, I think my bias towards all of it is more so that like, my understanding, the guy was really young, right? Who, who? If you talk, if you talk about age difference, it's only a difference of like six years, six or seven years. But wasn't he like 19 or something like that or 20? PJ. Yeah. So that was my thing is like. I don't know. I feel like a lot of times we look at statutory rape from the male to female perspective. And to me, I'm like, no, that shit's fucked up too. going the other direction. Like guys don't look at it necessarily that way. Cause they just like, I don't care if I'm 17, 18, 20, that's a bad bitch. I'm trying to, you know, put the tip in, you know, 